Story on first down is going to pull it. Pass it, and it is already a gain of nine plus. Again, get down as the chains are moving. It is first and 10, Arkansas. Story will pull it again. Story on the roll, tosses it out of bounds. A chance to look, flag down. That means Gibson and his boys better get it done up front. Average just two yards per rush against Eastern Illinois, and not much better on this. They've got to tackle better tonight, the Rams do. And Arkansas is going to make that a challenge for him. On second and 22, Story winds up and it's picked off. A takeaway by the Ram defense on the opening position. Points, that's a great start. Ty Story back out for series number two. We expect to see Cole Kelly play as well. Handing off on first down, Devois Whaley. Good push through the left side across the 35-yard line. Better job at the line of the scrimmage to protect their linebackers. Story deep shot after another fake. It is incomplete. Also see Austin Caps and Ty Clary tonight as well. Pull it again. Complete. Nice grab out of the backfield. That's Patton, and Patton folds his way forward for a gain of eight. He's been slowed by an ankle injury. Defense. I suggest that they come after him. Don't let him sit back there. So in first and second down, though. Story <laughs> that is incomplete on third down. So guess who's there again? Jordan Fulton yards per play coming in. Arkansas nowhere close in the first two possessions. Trying to get it going to the ground game. Wheelie straight up the gut. That is a gain of 10. Side in the heart of this defense running right up the A-gaps just to the other side of the center, finding some room to run. Catching the Rams, still lining up. Whaley, good push after contact. Braylon Scott, strong safety, makes the tackle. It's Gadlin and Caps on the left side of the offensive line now. And off, Whaley again, another good push forward after contact to make it third and one. In midfield. Third and one, little miscommunication, but Whaley takes it anyway and easily picks up. ...for Arkansas. Four straight carries for Whaley. He gets a break. Chase Hayden is in the backfield. Hayden will take it, bounce it outside. Hayden inside the 45, slipping through tackles. And Your entire defense breaks down when that happens. Whaley's back there for second down, shaking his way. Move defensive end, can they get themselves off the field here? Yeah, Story's gonna hand off and now they do pick up the first down i thought that the razorbacks had first it has to get their safeties involved that leaves them susceptible over the top but they're having no ability to be able to stop the run up inside that was a little bit better result there quarter it was a slow start last week for the offense against eastern illinois then story gave them the spark fake it toss it first pass of the drive goes to jordan jones and jordan jones picks up just a couple the sophomore from smack over arkansas brought down by anthony hawkins third down coming this is the best third down situation colorado state has had it's been third and short they've been getting gashed up the gut Arkansas wouldn't be wrong for trying to run here with the success that they have, but if you're John Jancic, the defensive coordinator for Colorado State, I think you got to bring some pressure, force the issue for a quarterback who's been off target and under duress. T.J. Hammonds in the backfield on third and six. Story's going to give it on third and six. T.J. Hammonds first and ten now from the 26. Story hands off. That's Whaley on the left side. Whaley falling. Allowing for the big run. Story handing off again. Whaley another good push again. Inside the 10. Thomas makes the stop. So really, really good a year ago. Second down. Hand it again. Whaley again. Pushing down to the two. Run here. They haven't been able to stop it yet. Whaley. Wow. Walks into the end zone. And down drive, and the Razorbacks take the lead. Great job of covering everybody up, but then they stop and shut down. Now, last time they had the football, it is Ty Story again. And Ty Story's going to hand off to Rakeem Boyd, trying the right side. Another good push forward by Boyd. Snap it, and remember the snap count. Not that easy. Shovel, that's Boyd on the right side. Wow. Boyd wrestled out of bounds after another. Eclipsing what he did last week in the first quarter. And he had Whaley on the sideline on first down. Flag down. Story incomplete. It was a drop. McDonald. Holding. Number 51. 
Mm. Offense, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, still first down. That's your leader there in the middle of that offensive line. Yo, the Froho. Here he is right there in the middle holding the football. It's a back block, and then he just kind of high lows him. It's a judo move where you use momentum. That was kind of one of my favorite. First down for these guys moving the chains back. Mm. Hammonds bounces it outside. Hammonds wrestled down at the 35 yard line. Story on third and 14. Zips it incomplete off the hands of Hammonds and. Arkansas runs it again. Loose helmet. The football stays intact. Mashing on this Colorado State defense. Second and four. Story pulls it, zips it behind the receiver. Jones, it's incomplete to make it third and four rather than snapping it quickly for third and four. Five in the box with an overhang player. So Story on third and four. Chased. Story pressured. He's going to tuck it, scramble, pick up the first down, slide away from the defense, and dive. Tackles on one play, and it's first down Razorbacks. And that is the story. So keep it on the ground again. Dev Wall, Whaley pushing near the 50-yard line, and we heard it. And what this is going to do is tire out this defense that has a ton of injuries and isn't very deep to begin with. So six yards per carry, and now Story hit as he throws downfield. Jones, it's incomplete. Here come two. There's no such thing as face guarding, but he hit his arms before the ball got there. Hayden on the carry has to leap over a defender. Story hands off again. Hayden bounces it outside, finds a seam. Hayden has the edge inside the 20 with a stiff on. And it's at will running. It was two possessions ago. They took it 14 plays, 73. We will get the ground game going. And here it is in the second quarter. And it again, Aiden again, falling to the 11 to bring up third down. Hammonds in the backfield for the Razorbacks. Toss it, Hammonds has it. Tripped off and dropped to the 10 yard line. It's Josh. What happened if both those things combine? Started looking at the back of the book. Rakeem Boyd. I mean, that was a that was a push for a game. That's lack of effort, and that's a defense that looks defeated to me. Here you go. And Boyd will take it inside the 50. Boyd finally brought to 36. I love this. Pulling your center and kicking out. It's a good scheme. It gashes them. Thomas gets himself out of the hole. I mean, that was a five yard wide hole. Considerably bigger on the lines of scrimmage than this Colorado State team. Keep it on the ground. Why not? Boyd. There you go. Gets three more. <laughs> LCs. Really enjoyed our conversation with him. There's a discrepancy in the ground game. And now in the pass game. This is Jones. Block on the edge. And he will take it to the 11. Recognition there that time by the Rams. From the 11, Boyd takes it. Pushing to the seven yard line on first down. Relining to an afternoon that hadn't been so pretty so far. Story pulls it and he is dropped for a sack. Emmanuel Jones on second. Time. Razorbacks have only one timeout though. Well, play clock winding down third and 12. Story stepping up, hit from behind to the end zone. It is incomplete. And the Rams will forward back again. Have not seen Cole Kelly in this first half. Story got a handoff. Chase Hayden, the sophomore from Memphis, who was slowed by a leg injury last year. Careful. Allison Hubbard stands him up. And yeah, that could have been whether you affect the play calling, running, or passing here. Hayden again on the ground. I mean, would you, would you pick up? Five yards, six, third and very short. Story, hands off, Razorbacks pick it up. Hayden pushes the pile to the 40 yard line. The one timeout for. Hitting Jordan Jones on a third and 11, a 46 yard pass over the top really broke this offense open a week ago. Colorado State has to be very disciplined with their eyes and not get beaten on play action. Here comes a throw. Or a handoff. One of the two. Hayden again. Second and mediums. Whaley's going to motion out, so it's empty backfield for third and three. With a minute left, Story hit as he throws it, picked off. 
Intercepted. Back to the 45-yard line. Jones gets the pick. This is just the old cross dog blitz inside this young offensive line. There's only five of them. They don't come off. Story has... Fiasco is going to play the weekend of the Wyoming game. On the field, Cole Kelly at a quarterback for Arkansas, and he's handing off back to Dev Wall Whaley. Honest, Carter, I don't know if either of these guys is the long-term answer for this sort of offense. I think some Razorback fans are with you. Whaley, huge hole in the middle of the field, and Whaley takes it to the 35-yard line. Fogle finally brings him down. Dev Wall Whaley carrying the load. This is just six on six. Bad angle by the safety coming up. You get Lyman up to the second level on the linebackers. It's a huge game. He picks up 23. There it goes again. And then keep it. Now, this was Whaley had 13 of Arkansas. It's game, but for the rest of the season, if they've got multiple backs, they can count on. Kelly handing off again. Whaley again. Hubbard on the stop. Third. Going to be run up the gut by Kelly himself, and he pushes forward for a first down, flag down, first down plus 15 yards. Has him on the plus side at the 40-yard line. It's happened so quick that the wide receivers on the edge were still looking at the side, side of the line right now. One of those positions the Razorbacks are still feeling out. Uh -oh. Wheelie right up the gut inside the 30-yard line. Of Arkansas. So keep it on the ground, Rakeem Boyd, and now he's going to push to the 25. So you're officially fucked here, but I think this down the distance is a pass. And here it is, Kelly, deep shot, end zone, it is caught, touchdown, Arkansas. Pen the coverage and another huge turnover for an offense that just looked pretty good through the air in the previous series. Kelly back at quarterback, Whaley back in the backfield. That's a shovel toss, and that's Hammonds. Uh -oh. Has the edge, has the 50. Hammonds down the sideline, inside the 20. He'll take it. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Hammonds. Ground game has been where they've hung their hat. Kelly, got to fake it, going to toss it. Kelly to the end zone, uh -oh. and it is incomplete. The field, that's when you say call stands. And now Cole Kelly's two for three passing. And Kelly's going to keep this. This would be a huge loss for them. Emmanuel Jones, who had the inner. Hammond's in the backfield with Kelly. Move from a two by two to a three by one receiver formation. Snap it with two on the clock. Kelly pumps, tosses, bobbled and incomplete. Off the hand. Two TD passes, two TD drives. Missed a field goal on the last drive. Keep it on the ground. Whaley across the 30 yard line. Run free, but five yards is way too much on first down. Colorado State has to get another juice play. Get a turnover, punch the ball out. Kelly hands off Whaley, and that was all he nearly broke it. Image. Whaley, right side, gets maybe four to the floor. Sure, but that leaves you susceptible over the top. Whaley has a new career high. Here's another shovel. Warren on the edge. Rams are ready for it this time, and a tackle. 35 seconds before the fourth quarter in a 10-point game. On third down, to the out, to the sticks, coming back to goals, and said Williams had a bounce back tonight. He has for the Rams. Kelly at quarterback, Whaley in the backfield. I'm going to toss it here. Quick hitter, Nance spins out, and he is dropped for a loss. Campbell comes up. Kelly on the roll. Kelly is going to toss it. Dangerous. Incomplete to the sideline. Pet so on the ground. Arkansas run the dang ball. Whaley does it. And falls forward. Fake the shovel toss. Give it to Whaley. Straight ahead. He falls forward. That's five more yards on the ground. And what I love. Snap this one with 11 and hand off Whaley again. Only gets a yard, maybe two. And hand it off. 
Go make it. Kelly oh, rolling gosh. on third and four. Oh Kelly's going to take the sack at the 25. And coverage for Colorado State. Razorbacks needing a miracle. Kelly's going to throw. It's complete. Stewart on the edge. There's a toss back. Petway. Petway looking for help. It is picked up, scooped up. Kelly, that cannon shot doesn't matter. Kelly's going to go down. It's still loose. And now it's official. The color.